What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things currently tracking a 120th level female pteranodon. It's right there. There it is in all of its right there-ness. Will it land conveniently in this spot where we can easily down it? Pew pew! You've been pew pewed! Don't go anywhere! You've been pew pewed in the head! You're down! You're a 120th level female pteranodon, and I have downed you right here. Welcome back to the video series, ladies and gentle peeps. I wasn't actually prepared to record at this moment. Let me see if I can get all my things. I have my glasses on. Do I have my pants off? Okay, good. We're good to go. All right, so I can't remember now if the double is a dude or a lady. Are you a dude? You're a dude! This is the most amazing thing that ever happened. We have our level 120 pteranodon. We have our dodo kibble. Dillo kibble. Wait, is it dodo kibble or dodo dodo dodo? D dodo kibble. I'm pretty sure it's the dodo kibble is the kibble that we want. Uh, do you have any meat on you, home dog? Yes, meat! Now, wait, no, double. You stay here. We want to bring Ouncy because he's just a better machine for guarding things and killing things. Um, let's just double check over here. Where did you go? Where did you go, Pteranodon? There you are. You beautiful, beautiful Pteranodon! Is there any raptors or anything over here? Alright. Oh, the gravestones. A foul play and gameplay. So sad. But it doesn't matter because it's a happy day right now! Um... I'm gonna check the kind of kibble that we need. Because I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I'm a little frazzled right now. I've been doing like 67 different things and I can't remember. BRBs. And we're back. Trust your instincts. I kind of knew it was Dodo Kibble, but I just, I don't know. Sometimes mistakes are made, and I didn't want to make one in this instance. Did you hear that? That was a... What is that noise? Are you that upset? You're fine, right? You're not drowning or anything, are you? You're totally fine. Just eat your kibble. Shut your face and eat your kibble. So we're going to be able to breed. In this episode, a new Pteranodon baby with the double... And this, I don't know what her name's gonna be. The triple, maybe? Quadruple? Hextuple? Octuple? Deca... Decuple? Something? I'm pretty... I'm pr kind of hyped. I'm kind of hyped. All right, we'll be our bees. <laughs> and we're back, and I forgot to tell you guys. I can't skip this part of the video. I want to make sure that you guys know that I really do appreciate all your likes and support on all the videos. Thank you guys very much for helping me out. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more stuff and things. 116 RG, 116 RG. I might want to go grab that too real quick. Um, we'll have to go see. I'll ask uh, if it's a male or a lady, dude. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, we're like I said, we're I know I know we're very excited right now. Uh, I'll be RBs. And we're back. And in just a moment, we are gonna have our perfect tame. I think. Soon? Are you gonna be a tame? Are you ready? We did it! We did it! What to name it? I do not know. We'll name it... I don't know, what's really fast? Uh... We'll name it Veyron. Veyrona! Veyronica! The Bugatti Veyron is a very fast car. I think that's how you spell it. Uh... I'm pretty sure. So, we've got Veyron, super fast, amazing Pteranodon, to mate with the double. This is going to be the greatest thing ever. Come back here, Veyronica. <laughs> that name is silly and awesome. All right. So, here we are. We're down. Are you going to be down, too? Come down. Do a... Come in for a landing. Go, she's so fast. She lands so far away. All right. Drax is going to have lunch. Well, that's good to know. Uh, just kidding. To Ranadon. Ramshackle Saddle just happen to have a bunch. Because we collect them, you know, we collect stuff and things. So let's put this over here. Let's take our kibble back off. And alright, it's under the cover. Oh gosh, is he fast already? Holy crap oh. Let's go ahead and and also her coloring is amazingly cool. I love that coloring. So we probably we might not have to be able to paint her. We very well may not be able to. Let's go over to our blah blah blah. And yep, and now 
Let's take a look at the statistics on this lady. So you are a lady, right? They don't have like anything that the, you can't. It's hard to tell. Uh, 500% melee damage, 136% movement speed right out of the gate. 800 health and 1100 stamina. So where are you? And then you are, you're a dude as well. So you really are just a random Tyrannodon dude that we can't really do much with. The double, I don't remember what level he tamed out at. Hmm. Hmm. Which would be the better tame? Because this guy tamed out at 161, or which would be the better mate? And then the double, we don't know what level the double tamed out at. Um, I'm going to look back in my videos and find out. I'll be RBs, peeps. And we're back. And I don't think I actually titled... I was like trying to search for my videos for like Trandodons and stuff like that. And I don't think I titled the video that I tamed the double that has anything to do with the Trandodon or anything like that in any way, shape, or form. So I couldn't find which one would be the better mate. But you know what? It will take a while, but we could just mate them with both and see which one comes out with the best baby. So... With that being said, start wandering, yo. Let's make this happen. I got some, we got hearts. We have mating progress. I'm hoping I don't have to, like, um, get them into a tighter spot. Maybe they'll just sit right here. No, don't move around too much. You're mating. How do you, why, how do you move around while you're mating? No, 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 no. Just, no, 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 don't go too far away. Don't go too far away. Don't go too far away. The doubles can't go. They're doing it still. It's good. Wow, they're circling themselves. This mating ritual is quite uh, amazing and intricate. They're still doing it. It's still going. They're mating! Don't go too far away. Don't go too far away. That's right. Get back there. How do they move around while they're mating? This seems really complicated. You'd think that they'd have to be attached somehow. I'm I feel like that's how it works. I think. And we're back. And Veronica's about to poop out a baby. Poop it out! Oh, look how cute its little leg is! Too hot! Okay, alright. So they pooped out a little baby. Disable wandering, please. Disable wandering. So I also... they co the, the copulation process was quite extensive. Uh, they, they began the process and, and ended it several times. Um, and then I actually really quickly just built this little teeny pen right over here. In the, with this wall on purposefully... On purposefully placed incorrectly for some reason. Uh, in case that it happened like a sixth time, I was like, I'll stick him inside of that room. But any hoozle, so now we got our guy. We got our little baby egg here. Let's go ahead and let's turn on our incubation station. All right, let's go uh, in here, like this. Let's drop that bad boy. Are you too hot, too cold? Incubating! It's happening. I'm really excited. You know, this is our first, our first. Uh, foray into the first time we're delving into um, mating to get like a higher end dino, which is something I really want to get into. I want to see if we could build some really crazy cool dinos. So she's not going to be able to mate again for wow, nine nine days. Wow, nine real life days. That's a long time. Nine real life days. Am I? I mean, it's really eight days, 23 hours, 15 minutes, but it's nine real life days. I will be a flown to Florida by that time, uh, so you'll just be hanging out, I guess, Veronica. All right, so I was going to hopefully mate her with the other new Tyrannodon dude that we got, uh, but I guess we'll do that in nine days, uh, which seems kind of an ex silly, really long period of time. Um, but, for, but for now... We're just going to incubate our egg and see what level dino we get when it comes out. Um, while it's doing its thing, I'll probably go out and get some meat um, just so we have uh, a bunch. Because I do believe what we had left over from the um, wolf pack is all spoiled. So it's no bueno. All right. So that is the case. Uh, which one of you guys wants to come with me? Who's the lowest level? Why tooth Let's make it happen, baby. And we're back at it. Oh, my God. Imprint. Yes! Little Thruster! That's what we're gonna name him! I don't even know why! Food! Do you want some? You can only hold five little foods? Oh my god, dude! You are so super cute! Look how little and cute you are! Are you following me? Is that a thing? Will you come this way? Show all the people how cool you are. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's so little. <laughs> uh, come here. Come here, little thruster. Look at how cute he is. He's amazingly super cute. Come into the sun. Is there anything around that could, like, oh my gosh. Like a level one Meganora would annihilate you. Look how super cute you are. Oh my god. We gotta get a sideways angle. We gotta get some angles. Oh, I'm doing push up. I'm so amazingly blown away by the cuteness. All right, now let's get down to it. 183. So this is like a super Trinidon by like four levels, but he's four levels higher. So, and then what? Is it a he or a lady? I can't even remember now. Go down inside of there. So this is a male. So now if we take this guy and have him, I know it's kind of gross, <laughs> but it is, you know, a video game. But if we mate this guy with Veronica, then we could make an even bigger super baby in the future. So really, really cool. Um, is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to be hunting my guy. Oh, wait, what level are you? 64? No. Don't. You better not hunt little thruster. Nail the days to can't be stopped. Get out of here. We don't want your kind here. Vermin. All right. So we got to wait for little thruster to grow up. Can we see what stats we got? So we got slightly looks like. Uh, you know what actually we'll do right now? Um, because Veronica like hasn't been leveled up at all. We could probably put her down right next to Little Thruster here and see the difference in statistics. Just to kind of get an idea of what we got going on here. So before we level her up, this will be a really good way. You're supposed to be following me. You're not doing a very good job, Little Thruster. So um, so let's take a look here. 900 health, 1140 stamina. All right. And then she's got 810 stealth, uh, health, 1140 stamina. So he got a little bit of a health bonus. And then... 511 damage, 136.5 speed. Nope, land. 503 damage, 136.5. So a little bit more health and a little bit more melee damage. It isn't really a huge difference. And so, is that, I thought I heard something. In order to make sure that they breed, like in order to do this really effectively, to like really to truly breed like a super dino, you would have to breed a lot of them. Um, and with this eight day timer, that makes it kind of, you'd have to have multiple females. So we're, we'll be on the lookout for more, but I think this is really cool and really, really fun to do. Um, and speaking of which, what we should do is we want him to stick in one spot. Let's go ahead and get this guy up around over here. It's so hard to see. I'm going to have him come up because he's going to move. Where did he go? Oh, for real? There he is. Oh, my gosh. Where is he going? Where are you going, little buddy? You're not following me, homie. Disable wandering. You're supposed to follow me. All right. I'm going to get him over there. Just get him safe. Make sure he's at least a 10% uh, maturation so he'll feed from the trough. And then we'll BRBs. Follow me. Why are you doing this? Stop. Follow me. And we're back. Little thruster's doing great. He's not eating too, too much. The maturation progress is, is going kind of slow. You know, as slow as it normally does. And I put some meat inside of here. I have a little bit on me. But this has got me thinking. I feel like it's time to get a little bit of other mating done. And I know that tonnage and poundage aren't super high. But I think it's going to be a good day for tonnage. We're going to go ahead and bring him over here to the smaller mating pen. The more compact mating pen. And we've actually got three female Argentavis that we can try to get having babies over here. And I figured we'd just do three of them and see kind of how they turned out. This is exciting stuff. Like, I'm having a really good time doing this. So, come here, the double. You feeling good, buddy? He's, he's having a good day. He had a baby today. This is a good day, I guess, for people. Um, all right. So, then we got... Let's go ahead and just take poundage first to start with. And we'll drop her off in this little pen and see... Kind of how this works out. Um, and I'm pretty sure I could just stick all the eggs in the, the super amazing breeding chamber thingy doodler. And it will be perfectly amazing. I don't think these guys are going to be able to walk out of here. So we should be able to just go enable wandering. Enable wandering. 
And there it goes, man. They're mating. You can't walk out of there, can you guys? Don't walk out of there, please. They're just doing a little mating dance like birds do. Birds do that. They do a mating dance. Look at them. That almost looks like they're really... Except for that poundage was in the back. This is That's very strange. Uh, all right. So they're doing their thing. Let's go back and check and see what's going on with our baby real fast. Give me some of your meat, please. All right. So how are you doing, little buddy? He's so cute and amazingly small. All right. We fill him up. He's doing great. He's doing perfectly great. I think this is going to take a little bit of time. How you doing? How's it going over here, guys? About halfway done. So um, we're going to do all three of the uh, RGs, the lady RGs that we have here, and see what kind of babies we get. So when they start squirting out butt eggs, I'll, I'll bring you back, peeps. And we're back. And I thought I would explain to you what's going on here, by the way. This RG, because I don't think you guys know who this is. Um, right after I was done recording the last video, this RG was in and about to the area. Oh, did you make a baby? Wait. No, she's about to. She's about to. But that RG was in and about the area. It was 116, so I decided to tame it. And oh, I think you just laid an egg. Did you just lay an egg? I can't see it. Where is it? Did you po poop out an egg? You pooped out an egg! Get out of the way. It's too hot for that egg. Okay. So now she's got the a seven and a half day timer. So let's pull her out over here like a so. And then if you could not wander, that would be sweet. Disable wandering. And then Tonnage, are you just ready to rock again? He's ready, man. He's ready to go. Ouncy, it's time. So we'll put Ouncy in. And then uh, 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 we will... No. Enable wandering. Pretty sure I don't need to use the door. And they're doing it! All right. So they're doing their thing. I think actually what I'll do is I'll hold on to the eggs so that all of them will hatch at the exact same time. I think that'll be cooler. Um... So I will just wait for these all three of these guys to mate, and then we will be our bees, peeps. Ooh, I think Ouncy squirted out a baby. Ouncy squirted out a baby, too. All right, Ouncy, you're out. Next. You keeping up, Tonnage? He's, he's doing good. If you could stop wandering, that would be sweet. Stop, 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 stop. Disable wandering. And then I named this guy, by the way, this uh, lady Random. So she's just named Random, and uh, they're good to go. I gotta get out. Oh, I gotta get out. Uh, I can't get out that way. I got out. I nailed that ace that can't be stopped. All right, are you mating? Oh, no, no, no. She's not mating because she's not on a wander. No. Yes. Mating's hard work. I have a, I've had to drink, eat and drink a lot of food. I'm getting really excited. So um, we actually have these eggs in order now, I do believe. This is the poundage egg. This is the ouncy egg, and then we'll split them up by, by meat. Poundage egg, ouncy egg, and then this will be the random egg. All right. Make a baby! And we're back. I want to see where babies come from. Oh, that's where they come from? That's unbelievable. Did you guys see that? <laughs> All right. So we got uh, these guys now. Uh, disable wandering for you. Your day is done, Poundage. I hope you had a good day, buddy. Just ain't wandering for you. And uh, let's get out of here. All right. So now we've got our three eggs. We've got our our Poundage egg, our Ouncy egg, and a Random egg. And I'm going to try to line them up so I can get an idea of what's going on here. So over here, Poundage egg. Over here, Ouncy egg. And over here, random egg. Okay, so now we got our three. This is out of alignment. This is I just won't do. Can we get a little bit better alignment there? Slightly better, acceptable. So you're in the sun. Are you gonna be fine? Are you gonna be okay? They're all incubating. They're doing great. So we're just gonna let them all hatch, and then what we're gonna do is kind of take a look at what levels they are. Uh, you know what I mean? Just do some experimentation. Let me check on little thruster. Make sure he's doing good. What are you at now? He's a juvenile. All right. 
So we should be good to go. Is the 10% maturation yet? No, probably not. Maturation, by the way, at 10% is right around when it gets to the M. So he's not eating from the trough yet. Uh, I don't believe. Oh, are you? Oh, no, no, no. That's other stuff and things eating from the trough. So well, whatever. All right, we're going to wait for these guys to hatch, and then we'll BRBs, peeps. This is a lot of babies. And we're back, and they're hatching. Imprint. Uh, oh, crap. We'll just cancel. Uh, this is going to be a big deal because there's a lot of babies here. Imprint. Uh, cancel. I'm, I'll figure their names out here in a second. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about them. There's stuff and things happening. Imprint. Oh, baby. We got three of them. Oh, they're so cute. All right. Disable wandering. Disable wandering. Disable wandering. Come here to me. Come here to me. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Come to me. Look at them coming. There's little cute ones. Oh, they're so cute. And they're so slow. So slow and silly. Oh, baby. All right. Let's see if we can get them. Don't you dare eat my babies. I don't think he will. I feel like he'll be good. Oh, my God. They're so cute and little. I can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it because we've done this before, but they're so cute and little. Come on. You got to You guys. You guys got to be melting right now. They're so amazing. All right. So let's get all of these guys up here as well. Um, you know what? Let's just make sure we're checking them every once in a while here. Getting them their food. Did I miss somebody? Yes, we did. We got it, though. All right. So there. Wait. There. There you go. There you go, buddy. All right. So these guys got to come up here as well. Um, and Little Thruster is doing really good. He's eating from the trough now. He's all grown up. But what we wanted to take a look at... Oh, crap. I didn't name them. You know what? They're still in order. They're still in order here. So it was... It was poundage. So this is poundage, baby. Yeah, we'll have them in order still. Change name. This is ouncy, baby. And this one. Oh, what? Oh, that is the random baby. What? What is happening with that? That's weird. All right. Nail the day stick can't be stopped. And then, can we get that to go away? Thank you so much. All right, so I want to get him up here. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look a little bit at statistics and kind of see what's going on here. Um, so if we crouch down, we could see this guy is... It doesn't say his level. What? 174, 167, and 160. And what would be a perfect team? would be 179. So actually, that's really weird. Because I thought Ouncey was a higher... Yeah, Ouncey is higher than either... Like, Ouncey's base level was higher than either poundage or tonnage's base levels. And then the random, I do believe, is higher as well. But the poundage baby came out the highest. That's kind of interestingly strange. I don't know why that would be. Um, I guess I got to take a look a little bit. I, I might look at the statistics because I thought all that it took into account was basically the base level of the dino plus the taming effectiveness. So really what it tamed out at. So it's, it's, it's initially tamed level is what I think it was taken from, but that can't be because poundage and tonnage were lower. So there must be also some randomality, random ossitude in this. Stuff and things going on there. Why are you uh, going backwards there, Poundage Baby? What's the matter with you? Let's bring him up over to the gator, and then we'll get him on follow. And we're back. We actually just came up to help Softus out. He found a 120th level RG, and he didn't have any trank anythings for it. So we came up and helped him down it. And figured I'd bring up some stuff so he could tame it. Hang out with some, give him some kibble stuff. Things. Look, he's jamming. What are you doing, man? <laughs> so it's down over here. I just figured I'd show you guys. We we're helping him out. I didn't think I didn't actually record the the downing of it. 
But uh, one of the things we did notice is that you've got to be really careful. Um, we got the Journeyman Lawn Neck Rifle, so the weapon damage is 165%. Even with the um, Trank Darts, and I only hit this guy, I hit him in the head one time, and then he got so bloody off that initial hit with the Trank Dart that I just didn't think to risk it, so I just gave him some body shots after that, and it took him down to 80 uh, HP, so really close to death. Um, so if you do have a really high-powered rifle, you should be careful, even with the Trank Darts. Um, seems to be... Yeah, does a lot of damage still. So pretty cool, but pretty cool. Should tame up pretty good. It looks like well, I brought 10 kibble, and I bet you it's going to use about 6. That'll be all it needs. But um, new dino for Softus, who, by the way, is kind of like the the dino whisperer on the server. He finds more 120-level dinos than anybody. Constantly, constantly finds them um, all over the place. It's crazy. So, all right, I'm going to leave him to it. Good luck, man. And we're back. All right, peeps. Stand back. I'm about to do arc science. So listen. We have these three babies from three of our ladies. Our dude is Tonnage. He's the dude. Okay? Tonnage was a 108 that tamed out to 160. All right? So then we have Poundage, who was a 116 that tamed out to a 171. And then we have Random, who was a 108, actually, that tamed out to 167. So the final levels, the high levels, basically are Tonnage the Dude is 160. So that's the one half of all the equations. Then we had Poundage 171. Random, which is 167, was the lowest. And Ouncey 179 was the highest. But look at the, the disparity we got here. So the lowest... Or no, the second highest level lady who was poundage gave us the highest level baby. But not a perfect baby, the way we got with Ouncey. Then Random, who is our lowest level, gave us the lowest level. And then Ouncey, who is the baby of tonnage and poundage, gave us the midland highest. So... The middle. Isn't that kind of weird? It's, so there's a bit of random chance that comes into this, and you're not always going to get a better baby. And the thing that kind of stinks about it is, in this instance, like we don't need any of these dinos now. None of them are really going to be useful for us. I mean, I have weight RGs now. I've got Ouncey now, who's like my primary RG. Random, I don't even really need, and she is kind of a lower level as well. So we don't really need these guys. So I think I want to take them out to the kibble farm uh, just to have them out there, because there's there's... You know, three ladies there. Or four, actually, counting random. Uh, four ladies, and if we get a dude out there, which I think Mazion might already have a dude, that'll be, like, a good amount of dinos to have out there. Uh, sorry, we're hungry. Um, for some egg, making some eggs, if anybody ever goes out there. Now, Little Thruster, um, I actually didn't write down all the levels for them, but we know that Veronica is, like, a perfect tame. So, um, super amazing, perfect tame. And um, is the maximum that we can get. Now, the double, I can't remember what he was. I think he was 116 or 108. Um, but I, I don't remember. But they, they, I mean, they gave us 183, which is super baller. Super baller and cool. And we had the little thruster because of that. So just kind of some interesting statistics. And then it's going to take a while before, basically, the next time I breed these guys again, I'm going to try poundage, or no, tonnage and ouncey one more time. But we got to wait eight days. Um, and I think I might try to see if we can get that timer changed a little bit. Um, we do speed up some of the timers on the server just because um, we're trying to have some fun and just do some things. And I, I feel like eight days is too long. Like maybe like two days would be fine. I wouldn't mind waiting like two real life days between breeds. But I, I think the eight days is really, 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 really long. So um, I don't know. We'll talk to Drax about it. But... I had a really good time hanging out with you guys today. We got a perfect new RG team. Or no, pardon me, a Pteranodon team. Oh, Softus says it's done. So um, we'll get this guy um, and this girl, pardon me. And we're going to level her up. And I'm going to do it like an RG. So I'm going to take her out and do a little bit of leveling on her. But what I want to do is I'm going to pump health probably up a little bit. And then I'm going to pump the melee damage up to probably about 1,000. Um keep you know be really careful with her i don't want to like let her die at all 
Um, and once we get the melee damage up to a thousand, I think I'm going to start pumping health again as well. But she's already like really fast, like base level speed, probably equivalent to um, an RG with like 150 percent. So if we don't need to go anywhere super fast, I'm, what I want to try to see is if I can get it to be about as powerful as an RG um, and have it be a little bit faster. So it might be pretty cool. I mean, you won't be able to pick up as much stuff with it. But it'll be a fun experiment to do. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Whoops. That's going to be it for today, ladies and gentle peeps. I didn't accidentally just hit the J button. Thank you so much for watching.